Uh, hello, people. Uh, my name is uh, Miguel Angel Muniz, a.k.a. Loborin, a.k.a. El Ryu. I am doing a Photoshop tutorial. Since I've seen so many on YouTube, decided to give back for once. I chose this picture. It's of my friend, Billy, which I think she's pregnant right now. So congratulations, Billy, if you're hearing this. I chose this one because it's, uh, it's a good picture. You want to choose a picture that uh, has no shadows on the face. And... Uh, I've noticed if you, I did a picture of this with Randy and he had dark hair, so the, and uh, darker hair is harder to manipulate, especially because you can't show detail and blonde hair shows detail in itself. Right here, I um, polygoned her face around the, where I wanted it and I hit the levels layer. After you hit, uh, adjust, you go to adjust, uh, adjustment levels and you want to, you want to um, do it as white as possible by the one on the on the slider here after I did that you want to use the burn tool and burn around her eyes I did the mistake of doing highlights you don't on the burn tool you just want to go to midtone don't go to highlights I had fixed this problem and you just go around the eyes around the eyelashes the eyelashes is re more important in this case because it's a girl you want to show the details on the eyelashes so it'll naturally darken itself around the eyelashes. And then you use the dodge tool. Um, um, I mean, the, the smudge tool, I'm sorry. And you kind of, uh, right here, you see me doing like eyelashes. It does, it's not very apparent, but to the eye, if, uh, if you look at it, it's more noticeable. And it's more pleasing for the eye because it's just natural. And here I am fixing problems. I did the highlights. After that, um... After you, I think I'm pretty much done here. After you do that, you want to burn it around the nose area. And you see, you, there's a little uh, dimple that uh, you want to burn. Because you don't want to keep have the whole face in one color toned. That way, so the more you burn on details, the better it looks. So I just did around the nose and so on and so forth. And uh, here I am messing up with the eye color since the Joker's color theme is green, white, and purple. Obviously red for the his lips. I decided I was going to change her eye color to green. Um, right here, um, what you want to do is uh, you don't want to make it too green like I did on the left eye. I'm going to change that right now. And uh, you see me sliding the tool. I don't do it all the way. I do it kind of halfway. And um, the polygon tool is better. You don't want to do I tried the circle tool. Uh, I mean, uh, but the polygon tool and it makes her eyes green and I guess it's more suiting since we're doing the Joker. And uh, I'm sorry, I should mention this is not advanced Photoshop, but you should definitely know what you're doing. If you don't know what layers is, just go hang yourself for even messing with Photoshop. You should definitely know what you're doing. If, uh, you should. This is uh, uh, definitely an intermediate. But here we go. You see her eyes are green now. And, um... She kind of looks like a skeleton the way it is, but with I promise you later it uh it all g adds up together. Right now I'm using the polygon tool because uh, I like it better than the magnetic tool because you're manipulating where you want it to be. Right now I'm doing the little smile, so you kind of want to do a fake smile and go around her mouth. Don't worry about the uh the teeth right now; it, it won't mess it a thing. Why? And there you see it's after that. You're manipulating that area go to adjustments color balance and you go to red and here's what you do uh, you want to do red highlights then go to midtones do red again and then go to shadows and do red again then you want to then you kind of want to use dodge tool to mess it up and the X's are supposed to be for the scars and I did it because it, it adds a little bit of a notion that this is fake and uh, more cartoony like it makes it more cartoony like because obviously you're not trying to fool somebody that this is the Joker from the movie. It's just more done for fun. So I did it just because it's kind of fun that way. And I thought it was nice. And after that, you want to select her hair and get color balance. You do it all the way green, but don't do shadows and uh, highlights. And then you go to adjustment levels. And that's how you manipulate. It looks a lot better that way. I finished doing all that and then in the background the background doesn't really fit so I burned it with the burn tool and her
her sweater at the last minute. I decide sweater looks kind of whack. So I'm going to make it purple like the Joker's purple suit and then manipulate it into a dark tone. And here I did that again. Here I go. And ta-da. Again, go after that. Go to levels. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Darren 